goodness. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. It has been a while since I've posted. So a couple of weeks ago, I was on Pinterest and I came across these super cute pillows. They were round with pom-poms on the sides and I'm not sure if it was like knitted or crocheted in the middle, but they were so cute. I fell in love and I was like, I need to get one until I realized how much it cost. It was $160 a pillow and I was like, dang, that is way over my budget. So I kept thinking and I decided that I'm gonna give this a go and see if I can maybe make them from thrifted sweaters. And some matching yarn. Um, yeah, let's give this a go. First off, I made a quick trip to our local thrift store and picked up two sweaters. I got a white knitted sweater and a really pretty orangey brown sweater. I also stopped by at the craft store and picked up some matching yarn for the sweaters. Before I get started, a quick reminder that I do post all of my DIYs on the blog. If you want to check it out for the list of supplies and photo instructions, I'll go ahead and add a link down below for you. Okay, in this video, I will be sharing how you can make a pillow, the no zipper method, um, a pillow with a zipper and how to make the most perfect pom-poms and secure them to your pillow. To start, I laid the sweater out on a flat surface and used a big lid from my pot to trace a circle. Just some simple chalk for tracing did the trick. Because my lid was a little bit too small, I propped up a piece of tile against the lid as I worked my way around the lid tracing it. You can use a piece of paper instead of the tile as well. Next, I cut the circle out where I had marked it. If you're wondering how big your pillow cover needs to be, you'll need to measure the size of your pillow insert first. There's actually a correct way of measuring it. I'll go ahead and show you on my completed pillow since I don't have an extra pillow insert lying around. Okay, take your measuring tape and place it next to the seam on one end. Lay the measuring tape across your pillow and check what it measures at the seam on the other end. My pillow insert measured 15 inches in diameter, so I made my pillow cover 14.5 inches in diameter. So my pillow cover was actually a little bit smaller than my pillow insert. Because knit has a bit of stretch, this gave the pillow a nice tailored fit. Flip your fabric over after cutting the circle out, making sure the two sides you want visible on your pillow are facing each other. Then use some pins to pin the pillow, working your way all the way around. Secure your pins like this because it's actually easier to sew as you go and you don't poke yourself as much. Then secure the fabrics together with a simple straight stitch. Don't sew your pillow up completely. Leave about a four to eight inch gap to insert your pillow insert or pillow stuffing. Turn the pillow inside out once you're done sewing and gently iron out the seams. Next, stuff the pillow with your stuffing if you choose to go with the stuffing or insert your pillow insert. I will admit this was my first attempt at doing this and I chose to do the stuffing first but then found out that it was just super lumpy and ended up actually stretching the knit a little bit so I wasn't really happy with that. I ended up opting out for the pillow insert option. Okay, once you're done adding your pillow insert or stuffing, you'll need a needle and thread to finish off the opening. I carefully folded both sides of the fabric in and gave it a whip stitch to seal the hole. And that's it. You can now add your pom-poms or leave your pillow as is. I'll be showing you how I attach my pom-poms later on in the video. Next, I will show you how to install a zipper in your pillow cover. I promise this is actually super easy. It sounds like it's hard, but it's easier than it seems. I'll even show you my favorite trick to eliminate all doubt. <laughs> to start installing your zipper, right after cutting out your circle, Flip your fabric over, making sure the two sides you want visible on your pillow are facing each other. Next, grab your zipper and unzip it. Open up the fabric where the zipper will go on. With the zipper facing down, place it on the edge of your pillow cover. Use some pins to pin both sides of the zipper down. Be sure to pin the zipper curved with the edges of the fabric. This will help keep the throw pillow shape round. Okay, so here's my trick. If you're confused whether you've installed or pinned the zipper correctly, simply zip the zipper up and flip it over to see if you've pinned it correctly. This, this will help you understand if you're on the right track. Okay, next is sewing on the zipper. Sew a straight stitch along both sides of the zipper. Try and get your seam as close to the zipper teeth as possible without getting onto the zipper teeth. This seam shouldn't be more than one fourth of an inch out away from the zipper teeth. Here's how it should look like once you flip it over. As you can see, there is still quite a bit of the zipper fabric visible and that's totally okay. Um, you can leave it like this or if you want to get the seam closer to the zipper teeth, you can use a narrow presser foot. This usually comes in the accessory kits with most sewing machines. You can also purchase them online. They're actually made to help easily get as close as needed to the zipper teeth. 
I sewed up one side of the zipper with the narrow presser foot and the other side of the zipper with the standard presser foot. And here's how the zipper looks once zipped. Okay, now that the zipper is secured to the fabric, gently iron the fabric around the zipper and zip the zipper up halfway. Start pinning the rest of the pillow cover. Pin both layers of fabric together, working your way around the pillow cover. Where the zipper starts and ends, place pins where you'll stop the stitch. Pretty much as close as you can get the stitch without sewing over the zipper. Okay, and now just secure everywhere you've pinned with a straight stitch. That's it! Now you're ready to add your pillow insert. Next, I'll be showing you how I made my perfect pom-poms. This was definitely the most exciting part of the project for me. I got a pom-pom maker kit to make my pom-poms. Um, this is something I've wanted to try for a long time and I'm not gonna lie you guys, this thing is a game changer. I'll add a link in the description if you want to get the same one. Okay, so it comes in a set of four different sizes. Each size will have a color and two pieces of plastic that come with it. You'll notice three holes on one side and three nipples on the other half of the one plastic piece. You'll need to lay the two plastic pieces against each other with the nipples fitting into the holes on the other side of the plastic piece. Start by wrapping your yarn around while holding the plastic pieces together. Keep wrapping until the curve on the inside is completely straight or close to that, like this. Wrap the yarn around both sides of the plastic, then close it up and lock both sides by sliding down these little white clips. Okay, now grab your scissors and cut all the wrapped yarn. Your scissors should fit perfectly inside the gap between the two plastics while cutting. Keep in mind that the yarn is pretty hard to cut when it's pretty thick, so you'll need some pretty strong scissors for this. Next, cut about a 15 inch piece of yarn and stick it in between the plastic pieces and tie a few knots. You can now remove the plastic pieces and you should have a pom-pom. Use your scissors to trim the pom-pom, making sure you don't cut off the two tails from the 15 inch piece of yarn you attached. You'll use these two tails to tie it to your pillow. Okay, to attach your pom-poms, use a crochet hook. Start by sticking your crochet hook through some of the fabric on the edges of your pillow and grab one of your tails from the pom-pom. Pull it all the way through and tie both tails together. I like to do a few knots so it's more durable. Now all you have to do is cut off the tails and voila, your pom-poms are attached. That's it, I am so in love with my pillows. Thank you so much for tuning in everyone. They turned out way cuter than I expected and I still can't believe these only cost me $27 each compared to $160 each. Wow, what a huge price difference. A quick reminder, if you need the full list of supplies and more photo instructions, check out my blog. I'll add a link down below for you. That's it for this video, I hope you loved it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. I will see you all next time. Bye.